In this video, we're going to keep talking about Deneb because there's just so much to explore now that we can leverage Vega Lite and Vega uh, in, with our Power BI visuals. Uh, today, I'm going to talk through the top in and others uh, scenario, which is a common use case. Um, and in this case, you know, show you how you can you can leverage some of the in visual calculation transformation you can do um, to get the same effect as the top in and others. And I'll briefly talk about the other ways to, to get that. Um, please go ahead and, and subscribe to the Hoosier BI YouTube channel if you want to keep uh, seeing these tips about Deneb and Charticulator and, and M and DAX topics. All right. So the first way, and I'll just sort of go in some order of uh, simplicity here. Um, the first one is just to do just a straight top end. So without the others, I've got this mock data set with some some clients here that that buy some stuff, and we'd like to just show the the top n you know top 10 top five whatever and then show the others and so of course the easiest way to do that is just to um, use the filter panel and come over here to the client field you know and turn on the the top 10 as i've done here and uh again you don't see the others but you do just get the top 10 so we can you know change that to five apply the filter and then we just get the top five so this is a powerful feature really easy for people to use um, and again there's no additional measure you need to write you could just put the client and the measure and and show the top whatever all right the other way is more involved but it's also um, brings in the capability to show the others and sql bi has done a few great videos on this approach um, i think the first one is shown here but he's also shown alberto how to do it with um, calculation groups and then even did a variation on this to bring in the being able to slice it by year definitely encourage you to watch these videos um, but it, it does involve some more advanced acts you know you're you're making a disconnected table with union uh, to bring in uh, the value of others so you have it in your column um, at the end of the day it does leverage the data visual so um, the, your page refreshes faster but again it, it requires some more advanced acts um, so let's talk about how you can do this with the neb and i'll show you two variations on this as well um, daniel marsh patrick who's the creator of the neb um, has demonstrated this in at least one of the videos i've seen him do um, but it, it bears repeating and then i'll show you in the next uh, report page uh, a different way to approach it as well still with the neb so in in this case um, note that i've added a couple other measures to this so I've got the same client and total quantity uh, measure there. Um, I've added a simple rank X measure to get the, the rank of the, of the quantity, in this case, 20 of them. Um, and then I have this other measure here that just returns a text value um, that if, if the currently selected client is within the top 10, then return that same client name, otherwise return the value of others. And so one of the great features about Deneb, and this is true of Charticulator as well, is it doesn't care if the values come in as a measure or a column. Um, you can use them however you want. So you can use measures on uh, as access categories. You can use it as a legend. Um, you can use it as text labels in your visuals. So um, this really enables a lot of use cases. And so if I um, jump into the, the visual here, I can show you a little bit about how it works. So in this case, um, it's real simple. You see there's not much code here at all. It's just a very straightforward bar chart. So nothing really new up here. Um, in this case, on the y-axis, I'm using the measure which was that measure there that returns others in some cases. Um, and I sorted it by the, the rank quantity, which is why I kept that one in here so that I could make it so that others showed up at the bottom, right? So that was real easy. And then all I had to do to get, you know, there's multiple rows that had others, in this case, 10 rows. Um, all I had to do was add this aggregate sum. And so then it would just aggregate and add the values for all of the rows where uh, this equals other. So those 10 rows are getting added here to do this. In all the other rows, there's a single row being added and you get the, the correct result. Okay, so in this example, 
you're sort of doing more on the DAC side and then just doing a really simple visual. And on the next page, I'm going to show you how to do the opposite of that, where um, you just do a real simple uh, DAX, well, actually no additional DAX. In this case, you bring in just the, the client name and the original uh, total quantity, and we can get the, the full effect uh, here just, just within the visual. And I'll show you as well. Uh, I could have done this on the previous one as well, so this isn't unique to this. Um, but in this case, I added this uh, center slicer here, slider that the user could use to decide, you know, which what they want the value of n to n to be. And so, again, you could do the same thing on the even the other page where the all DAX version of this with a what if parameter. Um, but I kind of like um, this user inactivity that you can bring in uh, with the Deneb visuals. So let me hop in this one and show you how this one works. So this one's a little, little more involved. At the end of the day, it's still not a ton of code, right? 51 lines, and a lot of those are curly braces and commas. Um, but but it, there certainly is more to it. The little slider at the bottom here is, is this section here with the params. Right, and so I'm just saying, hey, I want to have a, a slider, and I want to call it n. I will have a default value of 10, and I want it to go from 1 to 20, uh, stepping by 1. Okay, so that's that's straightforward. I'll collapse that. Then there's this transform part, um, and so the first thing I'm doing is sorting it, descending by the the total quantity, and then I'm using this window function, which is one of the available transformations. Uh, in, in Deneb, and again, I encourage you to go to the documentation. There's lots of really good options there. And in this case, I'm doing this operation of rank. So this is the same work that the rank X DAX measure was doing before, that rank quantity measure. Um, so I'm just basically adding a column, you know, sorted with total quantity descending of 1 through 20 uh, to my data. I'm calling that column rank. I could call it something else here if I wanted to. And then just like that other measure, I'm then doing a calculate transform where I'm checking this newly calculated rank value. And if it's less than or equal to the selected end value from the slider, um, then return the client value. And this is the syntax here, this datum.client, which is basically saying, give me the, the value for the client field on this row. And then if it, if it isn't less than or equal to n, then just put in the text others. Okay. And then I want to call this new calculated column that I've made, I want to call it, I just called it new label. You could call it whatever you want. And then from there on out, it's a very straightforward visual, just like the last one, um, a simple bar chart. I'm using that new label field um, as my Y category. Um, I'm sorting it by the rank uh, field here as well, again, so that I get others at the bottom. And then I'm doing that same aggregate of sum. So those uh, all the rows that have others get added together and show the result here, okay? Um, so again, uh, these aren't the most beautiful charts, but I was going for functionality here, and hopefully you can leverage these techniques. Um, it's really up to you. Uh, you know, these custom visuals, they do refresh a little slower, so you have to experiment, you know, if that's significant in your use case or not. Um, uh, I haven't explored this fully yet, but there may be, you know, you get a little bit slower on the custom visual, but also you're sort of doing the ranking on already summarized data, right? This is all you're passing to the visual, and then it's only dealing with 20 rows of data to do the rank. Um, certainly top-end measures and visuals are very performant, so that it may still be slower, um, but with really big data sets, there may be some scenarios where doing the in-visual um, analysis ends up being faster. But again, I haven't fully explored that yet. Okay, so thank you. Hopefully this technique helps you out.